Welcome to Holistic Lifestyle Tips, Getting Real About the Woo Woo. I am Becky Russell, owner of wellness company Hope Essential, and I am an essential oil educator and a holistic lifestyle educator. I just love to teach. And one of the reasons I am just so excited about talking about holistic living is uh, it is responsible, I believe, for me being 62 and not on any daily medications or prescriptions. And with my genetics, that's pretty much a miracle. So I just want to spread what's helped for me and hopefully can help you. And uh, the essential oils are an amazing tool, but it does, I do believe it takes a village to be well. So I am now interviewing experts in the wellness field and uh, that do have taken a, a holistic approach to wellness. So today I am so excited. Uh, a good friend, Sarah Haas, is here with me today. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, Becky. Uh, Great to be here. Yes. And Sarah is a women's weight loss and body love coach. And I just absolutely love this because I know several, so many people who um, struggle with these issues. And trying to do it yourself is super hard. It gets overwhelming. So to know we have someone like, like Sarah here to help us is just so amazing. So we usually uh, try to address either physical wellness, emotional wellness, or spiritual wellness in this series. So Sarah, what, which part do you think we're going to cover today? Well, definitely physical wellness, because I am a weight loss and body love coach, as you said. Um, I graduated from the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, so I'm a certified integrative nutrition health coach, and I'm also a certified personal trainer, and I have specialties in weight loss and diabetes, so all that definitely encompasses physical wellness. But I don't think that you can be completely well in your body if you also don't have emotional and spiritual wellness. So the programs that I offer are very integrative and very all-encompassing. Um, so you, uh, you can't just narrow it down to one because right. you're not well if you... You know, you can eat as healthy. You can eat nothing but grilled chicken and broccoli every day. And you can be exercising yourself to death, but if you are stressed out, if you are unhappy, if you aren't sleeping, if you're not emotionally well, you will have all the repercussions of not being physically well. Right. It's all connected. It's, it's definitely all connected. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us how you got started in this. Well, I got started when my son, who was six at the time, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. He was in kindergarten. And um, I had always had an interest in nutrition. I had always been into fitness. You know, I've been teaching fitness classes for, I'm embarrassed to say, but like 20 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm showing my age. You do not look like that's possible. So, <laughs> but this really was a catalyst for so much more learning because it became life or death. And as a mom, when it is your child, you're going to throw yourself into it and just learn everything that you can. And even though type 1 diabetes is rare, um, the, the, the health that you need to have is the same as everybody should be taking part in. You know, the healthy eating, the exercising, and I learned so much about how food interacts in your body and how exercise affects you on the cellular level and with him with getting him healthy and it wasn't hard it was not hard it was very doable it was very realistic and if we could do it anybody could do it and that it I realized that was my calling and so I went back to nutrition school so that I could 
make that my career. <laughs> and here how I am. The, how did the body love come into play? Well, the body love is because I'm, I'm working with mostly women and over and over and over again, I see them blaming themselves and shaming themselves and hating on their bodies and negatively talking to themselves all day long. You know, we're so cruel. We're so much more cruel to ourselves than we would ever be to any, any other person. And I want women to reverse that. I want them to realize how amazing, how wonderful, how strong they are and create that confidence and create that body love. You know, it's like we're in an abusive relationship with ourselves, you know, yeah. like <laughs> we're not, we're not doing self care. We're not nourishing our bodies. We're not giving ourselves the rest that we need. And if you continue to barrage yourself with negativity, how can you expect to be motivated and encouraged and want to move forward and be healthy? You know, it's like floggings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that work. yeah, it doesn't work. And, you know, we don't realize how strong we are. We don't realize how resilient. And we think just because we're carrying extra body weight, just because we're addicted to sugar, um, you know, because we go on a diet and then go off the diet and gain the weight, that we have somehow failed in life. And we fail to look at all the amazing accomplishments that we have, raising children, having a career, you know, we're so amazing that it's just such a shame that one aspect of our lives can drag us down so much. And just imagine what we could accomplish if we weren't bogged down every day with this negativity. Yeah, we wouldn't talk to our daughters or our best friend that way, but we Or do. even an employee. Yeah. You know, if you talk to an employee the way you talk to yourself, they'd be gone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it just and doesn't make sense. I don't know about you, but I have trouble being still. Like still, being still, not, not only physically, but mentally. And, and that goes to the meditation and the self-care and stuff. And and so it, that's part of that, that, um, you know, fear, I guess, of what am I going to find if I'm sitting too long and, you know, what, what is the real thing going on here and such. And right. that's something, right. unless Very you emotions do, come up. Yeah. If you aren't mm -hmm. still, then you can't sort through all that. So Absolutely. that is something you know? really... Mindfulness is one of the most important things you can do for self-care. Yeah. I coach all my clients to start practicing mindfulness and allowing those emotions to flow through because we think of emotions as either negative or positive, but they're not. You know, we are embedded with a full spectrum and we're meant to feel them all and none of them are bad you know they don't feel good so we want to avoid it yeah. but when you keep pushing those down those are still inside you and they will manifest themselves in physical illnesses anxiety you know not being able to sleep and overeating yeah. you know these self-destructive behaviors happen because when you I, I talk to so many women who their biggest problem is at night after dinner before bed. They want a snack and they're like, you know, carb treat. And I think a big reason for that is because that's when you finally are still. That's when you're finally done with the day and you sit down and you relax and you start to decompress 
and your brain wants to start processing things and those emotions start to come up and subconsciously we don't want them to come up and food gives you that boost it keeps okay. you busy it, it gets your brain chemicals feeling good it gives you a little a little kick a little lift and you know it's, it's an avoidance behavior so when i work with clients we dive into all these issues because of course i'm going to teach them what to eat how to nourish their bodies in a healthy natural way and of course you know as a personal trainer we're going to talk about exercise and movement and finding something that works for you because you can't be healthy without those two but a big part is what is under the surface that is causing you to eat the way that you're eating you know there's so many things involved there's so many so much emotion and um you know everybody has their story and everybody has their reasons but you can always get to the bottom of it so it's and it when, is figure outable i think i think that bothers me more than anything is when people say people can't change because i'm a poster yeah. senior for that. I mean, I have changed immensely. I never used to eat hardly anything green. I mean, it just, I was such a picky plain eater. And for me to eat a spinach salad, or we did a cooking class and we did our yeah, we did. special squash and so forth. I actually make that at home now. Right. Um, <laughs> it's just, you can change. It's just, you yeah. know, how bad do you want to? And do you have that support? And so right. I think Two things we really have in common is our tenacity. We're both tenac tenacious. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we are. And mm -hmm. then the other thing is, um, of course, we want to help people. That's, right. that's huge. And we want to help in a way that is going to be sustainable, not some quick fix that's going to fade in a month or so. So we both preach that lifestyle change. Yeah, and, and what you said is so true. You know people do change. I see it every single day. You know, my clients absolutely turn their lives around. You know, they create that healthy, active lifestyle that they've always wanted. And they never have to diet again. It's not yeah. this on again, off again Throw thing. Throw that word throw that word away. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I'll, I'll talk to clients. They'll text me two, three years later and say, they'll send me a picture of the, like their doctor's report with their cholesterol and oh. blood sugar and all that and say, look, I'm still doing great. Or I'll have, you know, one client who wasn't exercising at all. And she's riding her bike 10, 12 miles a day now. And wow. she's like, I never would have imagined. So it's just about taking things step by step. You know, yeah. when you go on a diet, it's this huge, overwhelming, long list of do's and don'ts. And, you know, you just, you think, oh, I just have to buckle down and, and just follow this and, you know, just get through it. And, and that is just not sustainable. It's just so overwhelming and miserable. And yeah. I always tell people, if it's not pleasurable, it's not sustainable. Yeah. So well, Sarah, I, we, I could talk to you about this all day. I just love this topic. Um, so, but this is supposed to be sort of a little like commercial for what you do. And to get yeah, people I talk aware, about it all day. <laughs> I know. I, I have such a passion, I, you know, I could go I know, on and on. I know, and I'm right there with you. Um, so uh, who, do, who needs to come see you? Who needs to reach out to you? Who, do, who can you help? Well, I work mostly with women. And uh, most of the women I work with are um, either they've had kids and, you know, they're still carrying that baby weight. <laughs> <laughs> five years later, 10 years later, maybe they're getting to be of a certain age as I am. I'm 48 and body starts to change, starts to change and you need a little help, you know, figuring that out and, and um, navigating that. People who have tried one thing after another, after another, and it just hasn't worked and who are ready for something that is actually sustainable 
and enjoyable and not torture <laughs> and, yeah. and who want to feel good finally have energy, have confidence, have self love, lower their stress and just be able to have freedom and peace and joy in their lives. Yeah, that's, that sounds great. So how can people reach you? Well, a uh, number of different ways. I have a website, sarahhaaswellness.com. Um, you can read all about me, whatever. And you can also, if you would like a complimentary healthy jumpstart consultation, I have a, a schedule there. You can just click right in and schedule yourself on, on my calendar. Um, email Sarah at SarahHossWellness.com um, or you can call me directly 423-677-5436. Okay. And then after the uh, recording is posted, then you are free to go in and post this so that they can actually see it and, you know, copy and paste whatever they right. want. Right. I'll put links. I'll put links to everything. Okay. So I always like to end the episode with a fun question, and that is, where is your happy place? <laughs> well, that's hard to narrow down. I have more than one happy place, but I grew up in the country, uh, in the hills of Tennessee, and nature calls to me. And when I was a kid, I lived in the woods and the creeks and the ponds. And I am happiest when I'm outside, especially in like a woodsy area. Um, I like to hike, even just sit quietly and sort of get in tune with nature and bring my system down to be quiet and peaceful. So nature is my happy place <laughs> awesome yeah and tennessee you could not pick a more beautiful place I mean, there's no shortage gorgeous. of happy places no. here for me mm -mm. so thank you so much sarah i like i said i'm i'm going to have you back i just we are just kindred spirits in this journey and uh just love what you do and then also just a reminder to people you can um learn more about essential oils and holistic living on my website hopeessential.com and uh, you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, my business page is Hope Essential LLC. And I have a lot of education and events and so forth. So uh, be sure and check me out there and just have hope that you can change, make those changes and feel good. Like Sarah said, we want to feel good, thrive, not just survive. So till next time, choose you, choose natural, choose now. <laughs>